Am I the a-hole for telling my parents I can't wait to move out? Plus updates. Original post. Hi everyone. For as long as I can remember, I've been the child my parents expect the most from, yet give the least to. An example is, I'm a medical school applicant. I went to the cheapest state school and I'm paid intern at a cardiologist's office. I have yet to hear my parents congratulate me or even say they're proud of me. My older sister went to the most expensive school for undergrad and the most expensive nursing school. In total, her tuition costed about $500,000. To add, they got her a gift when she applied to undergraduate schools when she got in, when she graduated, when she got into nursing school, when she graduated again, and when she passed her NCLEX. I have yet to receive anything, even an affirmation statement. Thankfully, I can say my family is comfortable financially, but I do my best to avoid any additional costs for them, hence the cheapest school possible. On to the issue. They expect me to watch after our dog and my sister's kid every waking moment of the day. I haven't had any time to myself because of this. I have plans? Nope, can't have them. Gotta stay home and watch the dog so my parents can go out. Wanna watch a movie? Nope, can't. My sister needs me to go do her laundry. And if I say no, it turns into an issue. There's so many examples of this. But my cup overflowed when I was studying for the MCAT and they did not give me even enough respect to leave me alone to study. I was constantly watching after our dog, catering to them and their guests and taking care of my then-pregnant sister, as if she doesn't have a husband. I ended up having to retake. Today in the car, my mom asked if I'd move out if I get into an out-of-state school. And I said in a heartbeat. She was visibly upset and asked why in a pretty angry manner. I mentioned all of the above reasons and then added, If I stay here, you guys will be the reason I fail academically. My whole family isn't talking to me now. Am I the a-hole? I know I need privacy and a stress-free study space for when I'm studying to become a doctor. But seeing how upset my mom got made me feel so bad, so I don't know. Added to add, A few of you mentioned moving in with someone. My grandparents are absolute angels and have always offered me to stay with them. I've taken the offer many times, but I just feel too much of a burden on them. I don't want them to have any negative energy or conflict around them. Additionally, I pay for everything of mine. The only thing I don't pay for is a roof over my head, which I'm thankful for. Someone mentioned confusion with my thankful portion of my parents being comfortable. Yes, they are comfortable enough, but that doesn't mean they cover my expenses. And whatever they have covered, I have eventually paid them back. Another thing to add is, a while back, they mentioned they would help with medical school tuition. But I don't know how likely that situation will be. I'll try to update if anything else occurs. I'm hopeful me saying this to them today would maybe make them rethink how they've been towards me. Now for the top comments before reading the updates. Not day whole. No wonder your parents are upset though. Hearing your child say you're a bad parent is even more rankling and hurtful when deep down you know they have a legitimate grievance. Plus, now they know they will be losing their house elf. My dad specifically said, Who's going to watch the dog? Don't move out. It'll be so hard to figure it out. When I mentioned applying to out-of-state schools. Please go to an out-of-state school. They do not care about you nor your schooling. It seems like they subconsciously or consciously want you to fail so you're forced to continue living there. I got an interview for a school that's across the country, so I'm very hopeful. Not day whole. Your sister is clearly the golden child and you are being taken advantage of. Move out as soon as you can. I just feel really underappreciated. A simple I'm proud of you is literally more than any monetary gift for me at this point. My entire extended family sees clear divide in treatment and treats me how I wish my parents treated me. When my uncle found out I applied to medical schools, he sent me flowers and sent me the cutest message describing his appreciation for me and all I do for his kids and myself. Not the a-hole. If there's any student accommodation you can get access to, get out of there. It's one thing to do your part around a house, but being your sister's nanny is above and beyond. Mini update. My mom came into my room today and told me that her and my dad want to set up a family meeting tonight with my sister. I told them only if my boyfriend, uncle, and aunt can be there too. If this happens, I'll let you all know. Now for the full update. Hey everyone, thank you to those who have given their advice, wisdom, and kind words. Thank you to those who are concerned for my well-being. It means a lot. After this morning when my mom came in to tell me about a meeting, I called my boyfriend of six years now, who ended up seeing this post. 
He said he wishes he can take me out of this situation sooner, but his parents depend on him in many ways, medically and financially. Though he promised me the second I get into any school, that him and I would start apartment hunting so we'd live together. In that moment, I couldn't stop crying from how happy I felt. He doesn't want me moving out on my own, because he has before and he knows how demanding it could be, especially since I'll be in school and won't have the opportunity to work as often as I do now. So if he could contribute in any way to lessen my load, he said he would. I then called my uncle and we spoke for a bit, mostly him reassuring me and comforting me while I cried. He said he'd definitely come, and he did. Someone mentioned him being a great person. You're going to love him even more. So when they all arrived, we all sat in my living room and my dad started a conversation with, why do you feel the need to move out in a heartbeat? My uncle then instantly pretty much exploded on him, telling both my mom and my dad how horrible they've treated me over the years, how unfair they've been, and a lack of reassurance they've given me. My aunt, who happens to be a licensed therapist, contributed to the conversation and explained how mentally, emotionally, and financially abusive they've been towards me. This entire time, my parents did not utter a single word, just my mom crying. My sister, however, she got the worst of it. She decided it would be smart to say, why don't you ask for stuff? And my boyfriend then mentioned how I have asked for them to tell me they're proud, rather than lecturing or telling me I can always do better and they still don't. I then added after this how I watch after their kid, do their chores and housework, and how her husband doesn't contribute in any way because my parents said his parents financially support them. My uncle laughed at her, which I kind of felt bad for, because she started crying about how irresponsible they are at their ages, 28 female and 29 male. After this, my uncle, bless his heart, he was in tears at this point, told them if he could have seen the future when I was born, he would have found a way to take me in as his own. Moreover, I want to try to keep this short just so it's not too long to read. My parents ended up having their butts handed to them by my aunt, uncle, boyfriend, and myself. They later finally came to the understanding that they have been horrible. Per my dad's words, I didn't realize how bad it had gotten until now. My mom just kept crying and saying she's sorry, and how she also didn't realize she began acting towards me the way her parents were with her, not the generational trauma. The end of this conversation was my boyfriend telling them that whether they liked it or not, I will be moving out eventually, and there is nothing they can do about it. I need to have my space, not only for studying but for my healing journey. They agreed that this might be the best as it could lead to a better relationship. Additionally, my aunt suggested group therapy which they also agreed to. Personally, I don't know. I see this as a good outcome from what I'm used to. There's usually yelling and back and forth arguing. I'm hoping I'm not being naive and thinking they understood, but after my uncle and aunt left, my dad came into my room in tears and just kept saying sorry. I've been emotionally distraught and mentally exhausted over this last day. I don't know if I can forgive because I definitely can't forget, but that's something I can come to grow in peace with. This feels like such a bittersweet resolution. Thank you all for all of your kind words and advice. I really didn't think this would get this much traction. But again, my eternal thanks. And I hope you all have a blessed, successful, and happy year to come. When I suggested an update, I really had little hope for your parents admitting any shortcoming. Happy to be wrong. Honestly, I really didn't think they'd ever apologize, nor even admit to their faults. I just think them hearing it from my uncle and his boyfriend made them really aware of how obvious their unfairness had been. Next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my brother the truth and why I don't ask him for anything? Plus update. Original post. I-19 female have three brothers, 27, 28, and 32. My oldest brother Dave got married to Sarah in May. I study halfway across the world from my hometown where my family are. I got really sick a few months ago and rushed to the nearest hospital. Turns out they don't accept my insurance and I had to pay out of pocket. I was 50 euros short and called everyone I could but no one was picking up. I then called my oldest brother Dave because he always picks up and asked him to send me 50 euros and I would send it back once I get paid in a few days. He told me not to be ridiculous and he didn't need me to pay him back 50 euros. Sarah called me that night and asked how I was doing. After the chit chat, she asked if I could ask someone else the next time I need money because my brother is a married man. I was shocked but I apologized and said I offered to pay him back. She said it's fine, but next time I should plan my finances in advance, so I won't have to rely on a married man. It's my birthday soon, and Dave called to ask me what I wanted. I said nothing and that I was fine, but I appreciate him asking. 
My other brother called to ask what I want, and I said I wanted some money to heat my apartment. I couldn't afford to heat it this month. He was baffled that I was so broke I couldn't afford heating, but wasn't saying anything. He started tearing up on a phone call with me and ended the call and sent me 500 euros later. I guess he told Dave about a call with me, because Dave called me and started interrogating me on why I just told him I didn't need anything, and then asked my youngest brother. He sounded offended and asked why I feel like I can't rely on him. So I asked, haven't you spoken to Sarah about this? He was confused in what I meant, and I told him about the conversation I had with Sarah after he sent me the 50 euros for the hospital. He said he'd call me back, but he hasn't. A cousin of mine sent me a message a few hours ago saying I was a witch for meddling in their marriage and that Dave didn't owe me anything. I was like, huh? When did I say Dave owed me anything? I have never relied on him for anything, nor do I plan on it. I mean, I feel bad that Dave and Sarah are fighting, but I can't help but feel weirded out that Sarah did that behind his back and he had no clue. I've been extremely anxious since, and I can't stop shaking. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments before reading the update. Not the a-hole. Sarah is a manipulative a-hole. Your brother had no idea she had that conversation with you. Sarah's now playing the victim. Your brother may have realized what sort of nasty person he may have married, because there may be a lot more things along the same lines that you have no idea about. And Sarah's talking to other family members about it too. Double nasty. And likely lying about how it went down. Also, what is with her creepy weirdness about not asking a married man was sadly within my own family. An aunt said something similar to a niece, and unlike this case, we called aunt out on her creepiness. Not the a-hole. There is something seriously wrong with your sister-in-law. Do not trust her. Personally, when someone starts to show me this type of behavior, if I cannot get away from them, I keep screenshots and record conversations, just in case they start playing games and messing with me down the line. Also, something wrong with a cousin who meddled in Opie's relationship with her brother and sister-in-law, just to scold her for meddling in someone else's relationship. Sounds like the whole family could use some pointers and boundaries. Not the a-hole. What the heck did I just even read? Of course, your brothers would be baffled that you want freaking heat as birthday present. And I hope Dave forces Sarah to apologize to you, publicly, as should your cousin. My teenagers give slash loan money to each other all the time, even if they've been fighting. I wonder if Sarah's an only child or if she's just that much of a selfish person. And now for the update. So my middle brother called me yesterday and asked me to explain what's been going on. And I did. He's always had quite a temper and got very angry about the Sarah situation. He mentioned how Dave is paying the rent for Sarah's 22-year-old brother's apartment. So for Sarah to ask me not to ask Dave for anything at all was so messed up. When her own brother is getting his rent paid every single month by Dave. To be honest, this made me mad. It's okay for Dave to support her brother, but God forbid he sends me 50 euros for an emergency? Anyway, Dave called me and we had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I explained to him what I've been going through here, and he was silent for a while. I did mention that if I was in urgent need of something, I still had my other two brothers to ask, so it really wasn't that terrible. He said he feels so guilty that I was suffering, and he didn't know. He said he won't tell me the details about his discussion with his wife, but he was heartbroken that she would even think of telling me not to rely on him. And has asked her to give me an apology, which he said she did. But at a time of the call, I hadn't received anything. I said I haven't gotten an apology from her. And he told me to check my messages again, still nothing. He was silent for a while and just sighed. I also mentioned a text my cousin sent, which he asked me to forward to him. He said it felt so bad that people so much older than me were treating me like this, and he will deal with it so it never happens again. That was this morning. I got a message from Sarah 10 minutes ago. Not sure how that's meant to be an apology, but to summarize, she said, I'm sorry if you took what I said as you can't ever rely on your brother. He's your brother, and I would never intentionally try to make you feel like he couldn't do anything for you. I'm also hurt that you couldn't speak to me if you had a problem with it. We could have solved this as sisters. Now, what am I meant to say to that? I know she'll make me the villain if I don't respond, but honestly, what on earth is that? I can laugh because of the audacity, and this whole thing is so ridiculous. But thank you, and I will take them up on their help from now on. They just got married in May, so I'm not sure how long they'll be together if there's trouble in paradise so early. But anyway, I hope whatever's best for my brother happens. I'm proud of you for standing up for yourself. This is a private matter between you and your brother, over a measly 50 euros for a health emergency. 
Is her brother employed? How did he get the deal of your brother paying his rent? I'm floored that he is okay with it. Although, who knows what Sarah has told your brother? It seems that Sarah knows exactly what she's doing and has been a manipulator for a while now. She's got gaslighter written all over her. Stay strong and keep us updated. To be honest, Dave paying Sarah's brother's rent isn't surprising. It's very normal in our community to help our family in this way. I don't know much about his situation as we only met once at a wedding. The only weird thing about this situation, in my opinion, is how comfortable Sarah is for Dave to pay her brother's rent, but she'd raise hell if he did the same for me. Send your sister-in-law's apology to your brother. I really wanted to do that, but won't it look like I'm instigating further problems? Honestly, maybe that's for the best. I mean, he seems to really care about you, and it wouldn't be fair to him to be with somebody who doesn't understand the love he has for his sister, and who could treat somebody with such condescending manners. I don't know. I feel like you'd only be doing him a favor. Sarah is horrible. I'd respond back mentioning that you did speak to her, and she made herself very clear with her statements and questions about the situation. Or I just say something like, I'd love to speak. Let's FaceTime with Dave. I would have a FaceTime call with the both of them, so she can't have these conflicting side conversations with you. Also, and I mean this in the nicest way, you might want to work on your confidence, especially when it comes to Sarah. She's got a lot of nerve treating you in that manner. Don't let her bully you, especially with all that distance between you guys. Your brothers sound like very lovely people, and I would continue to have some deep conversations with them if I were you. Perhaps asking them for advice on how to manage certain things would be a good start, if you don't want to have to rely on them. This way, they'll be happy you're reaching out to them for help, but they'll be helping you to learn and grow instead of just handing you what you need. Good luck.